Now, why did you become a recording artist? Um, I basically just want to like help my family out. You feel me? Like I love just like and and the fact that I love music. But most niggas they do this shit for like watches and shit and change, fast cars. Like I feel like from my perspective, I just want to make a positive impact on the world before I pass away. You know, it's not too much really like once you get so much material materialism, like it's not too much you could do with it. Like that should start make you happy after a while. Like it'll give you an erection. But at the end of the day, you can have like all this shit in the world, but if you're not happy, then there's no point of it being there. So the real reason why I started like making music is like, I feel like I want to make a positive impact on the world before I pass away. At this point, what genre of music do you consider yourself? Um, I say hip hop. Does it get any more specific than that? Like a subgenre, perhaps? Oh, boom, I made like rock music, I make indie music. Any music I'm released though, I got indie music for y'all on the way. I got y'all. But yeah, um, and I make dance music. I actually just dropped a dance song. That that shit touched World Star, you feel me? Um, World Star pushed me twice. But yeah, um, yeah, I make dance, I make all types of music really. Like I feel like with the right engineer and right producer, you you put me in the any fucking studio, the engineer raw, the producer raw, the equipment raw, I can make any music, any type of music. You mentioned a variety of genres here. Is hip hop the main genre for you? Yeah, I mostly do hip hop because that's what like this generation like to hear now. You feel me? Unless you got like some weird TikTok ass shit like Yeet, Can Can, Summers, like them type of niggas. Like they like hip hop and they like weird shit. So that's that's the main genre I do because that's what people like to hear nowadays. Now, how did you get into hip hop specifically? Um, I used to love hip hop when I was little. Um, that's all I used to really listen to. And for me, I feel like hip hop fit, like it fit my personality because of like where I come from. Like coming from Chicago, like you, you won't get talked about you listen to like some like fucking jazz or like some blues or some shit. They would be like, boy, yo ass lame as hell. So shit, hip hop was the way back then. So that's all I really listened to. And when it came to hip hop, just for clarification, was this how you were raised? Or was this your own choice? It was a little bit of both. Um, I feel like hip hop was influenced on me because of my environment. But I started listening to that shit. I'm like, okay, this shit, this shit kind of fire. You feel me? But I did yeah, also listen to like shit like um, Michael Jackson, Mob Deep. Um, listen to a little bit of blues, but I don't really feel in blues. Or reason why I listen to it because my pops listen to it. yeah that nigga that nigga just play anything in the car. He had them little CDs, boy. Remember that shit? But yeah. Mostly, yeah, it's mostly hip hop. And was hip hop the first genre of music you ever encountered in your life? Um, nah, actually, I had like it's this shit. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but it's like Comcast Demand, where you listen to music and like watch music videos. It's like Comcast. I actually was just fucking around. I was trying to watch um like Cars, like you know the movie Cars, and I came across the music section, and it was like some like hardcore like rock shit. I'm talking about like flashing lights and shit. Like it was like, tsh, shit was crazy. Was, niggas just like screaming and shit. I don't know what genre you call that. Like screamo, heavy metal, metals, some shit like that. But yeah, that's actually some of the first music I encountered. Now, how did you learn how to rap? What was that learning process like for you? Basically learning how to rap is like, you put your personality on the mic, you feel me? Like everybody got different flows, like, different rhymes, different um, different ways to express themselves. I feel like me learning how to rap is just me expressing myself on the mic. I'm really like a um I'm really like a chill nigga. Um I don't be in the mix too much. I won't say I'm I won't say I'm like anti social or anything. I'm a very sociable person. But um, me learning how to rap is just like just me turning up, you feel me? Cause when I was um when I was little I used to like dance for my family and shit. So like I will always want to be in the mix. So that shit made me turn over time. So I'm like, okay, I'm just be a turnt ass nigga. And when I rap, I just put my turntness on the mic. Just turn up on the mic. Now for clarification, would you say you were self-taught or did anyone teach you how to rap? Definitely self-taught. Um, in Chicago, like you really ain't gonna have nobody teach you how to rap in Chicago. Like it's hella competition in Chicago. So I wouldn't feel like anyone trying to give up their sauce. Like, 
And then niggas in Chicago got that crab mentality. So, like, they see a nigga, like, rising up, they go try to pull a nigga back down. Like, everybody in Chicago got that crab mentality. Like, so you really, um, yeah, a nigga ain't teach me shit. Like, I teach teach myself, like, everything, you feel me? But I also studied, though, you feel me? Like, the greats, like, Wayne. Like, Wayne, he, like, my top five, you feel me? Studied niggas like Jay-Z, Cole. Yeah, them niggas. Yeah, but I'm not no, like, conscious ass rapper like i love hip-hop still but that's the niggas that i studied though because like they're flowing in lyrics so yeah i taught myself when it comes to that crab mentality did you encompass that yourself as well hell yeah i ain't gonna lie it was this um high school i went to crane medical prep hello want to be rappers in that bitch you feel me it's just i ain't even gonna say his name because i don't want to give him clout this is one little short nigga i thought he was roddy rich or like uzi or something bro I used to um I used to always want to hit that nigga up for a feature, bro. That nigga would never give me a feature, bro. That nigga did not fuck with me. He faked like he fucked with me. Like I I even joined his group for a little bit. His group was called like CTB. You feel me? It's supposed to mean closer than brothers or some shit. I joined his group for a little bit. Still didn't fuck with me. Like that nigga was Yeah, it's it's a crab mentality for real. Like and then um then other artists in Chicago, like, don't nobody wanna do features. Everybody wanna get on itself. You feel me? And you can't even do features really in Chicago because it's mostly just like drilling and killing. Like, don't nobody want to hear that shit all the time, bro. Like, y'all got to make some different music. So, yeah, it's the reason the reason why the crowd mentality is so heavy is because it's a lot of artists. You feel me? Did you ever take music classes in school of any sort? Yeah, um, I went to Johnson, um, home of the Wildcats. You feel me? Johnson Elementary. James Weldon Johnson. That's the name of it. Motherfucker elementary school. Um, shout out my nigga, uh, Mr. C. Yeah, he was a real one. I don't even know if he still work at Johnson, but yeah, I took his music class. It was like a, um, like a prep, like you know, you know what prep is, like gym, art class, music. Yeah, it was like a prep class. So yeah, I took um, his class and I did choir for a little bit, but I was, I ain't gonna lie, that singing shit ain't for me. Like y'all melodic niggas, y'all got that shit. Like um, Juice, RP my nigga Juice. Uh, Motherfucking trippy, Uzi, yeah, I got that shit. I'm not no melodic ass nigga. But you give me some auto, I could, you feel me, do some shit, you feel me? Did you know Juice personally? Nah. But um, his death hit close, like real close to home, because that nigga, like, we both from Chicago and shit, you feel me? Like, I remember the day that shit happened, it was like in December. Like, I was just crying in my room just listening to that nigga music all day, because I'm like, damn, bro. Because this was, um, he died after X. And I used to fuck with X heavy, like all that, like emo shit. I used to listen to a lot of that shit, you feel me? And I'm like, damn, X died, well, we got Juice. I'm like, if Juice died, then shit gonna go like, you feel me? Shit gonna go all out of whack. And then that shit happened, so like, it felt like, when I read, like, I was on Dama's News, like, Instagram page, and I just like, I read that shit, and, like, my heart, like, sank to my ass, bro, cause like, you don't, like, you don't really hear about death, never really, like, sit right with me so but when it was juice world like that shit made me cry like i was crying like in my room listening to his music all day was that the only artist you ever cried to nah i cried to x that nigga because that nigga be making some sad ass music like one nigga that nigga like one one minute that nigga be like turn like ah like fucked up fuck like he be turned then the next minute he be talking about like a girl killing herself and shit like yeah, that nigga I cried to that nigga too, and um, Kendrick Lamar. I ain't cry cause I was sad, but I cried cause he was talking about some real shit. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> cause he uh, one of them conscious hip hop niggas. So like, yeah, he was talking about some real shit. And I'm like, damn, this nigga spitting, and I had to shed a tear cause it was shit was hard. Can you share the titles of the songs you cried to from each of these artists? At least one song. That okay, you cried so to? for X, we got um, Aaliyah. That was the outro, and Jocelyn Flores. Um, for Juice, we got motherfucking Lucid Dreams. The reason why I cried to that, because that was his motherfucking like, hit number one song, you feel me? And that's how I remember like hearing about the nigga. So I heard about him through um, Lucid Dreams, and after he died, I just kept listening to that shit. I'm like, damn, like this nigga, like he was snapping, like this nigga had potential. And then Kendrick Lamar DNA, you feel me? Because the shit was hard. It wasn't a sad song, but it was hard. So I'm like, okay, yeah, this shit raw. Shit a little tear, you feel me? Ever had a music tutor? Um, nah, but my, my brother, 
the nigga, um, CT, that's why I call him CT. I ain't gonna say his real name on her. But my brother CT, like, he wasn't my tutor, but like he helped me a lot. Cause he the one who, like, he the one like made me like really start fuck with music for real and like taking that shit serious. Like he invited me to the studio one day and um he was going he was recording a song, you know? And I'm like, okay, boom, I'm gonna hop on the mic too and record some shit. Pay for like another hour of the session. And then I record the shit and he told me I was snapping. So I'm like, okay, boom, you feel me? I'm gonna start taking this shit serious. And then he started like giving me like pointers on like flow and like energy, you feel me? And like it's not about what you say, it's about like how you say it and shit. So I guess you could call CT my music tutor for real. And is this the phrase brother biologically speaking or just using the phrase? Brother, like, not biological. Ever had a vocal coach? Vocal coach, um, this is one Jacksonville artist. Her name Jay Way, you feel me? Um, she used to she she is like a real good fucking singer. She barely liked to post music though. She coached me on that shit. Um, she was like, you basically just gotta train your voice. It's not like, no one's a good singer at first, but you gotta train your voice. So she had me like, doing like that do, re, mi, fa, so shit, and drinking tea and shit, listening to beats. It's actually fun trying to learn how to sing, but like I said, y'all melodic niggas, y'all got that shit. Not a singer. I'm gonna turn up, nigga. Go ahead, turn up. When it came to being a recording artist, initially, was this something you wanted to do on your own? Or was it a suggestion? Maybe someone put a battery behind your back, so to speak. Yeah, I really wanted to do this shit by myself. I ain't gonna lie, because I was in Chicago. Like, me um, being in Chicago, I was around a lot of music already. And I'm listening to some of these niggas. Like, some of these niggas got a little buzz, and I'm like, these niggas trash as hell. I'm like, I know I could be better than these niggas. So I'm like, okay, boom, let me try this shit. And I was raw, so. That's how that happened. Now you use the phrase choir. Did you mean choir as in like some religious establishment or did you mean chorus? Oh, chorus, I ain't gonna lie. I used to do that shit after school, um, Mr. Sphingros. Um, yeah, he was at my elementary school, but I could not do that shit. Like I was, I was trash at singing. I, I think I was a tenor or um, a my, what do you call that shit? Marathon? Monotone? I don't know. I was like the lowest one though. And I don't know. I just could not find like a tune. Like I just was not good at singing. Now, hypothetically speaking, could you have gotten to where you're at musically at this point without any of this stuff? Mm, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I met, um, when I came to Jax, Jacksonville, met, met the nigga CT, like, he he really he really helped me like take off in this music shit for real. Like he really made me like want to do this shit more, you know. And um, my brother, like my brother, type of nigga that he don't do like he don't do shit for no reason. So like he was like, if you are gonna do something, do the shit to your best of your ability. So I'm like, ah, right, you feel me? I'm not just gonna be doing this shit for no reason. You feel me? He like that nigga. He pushed me in everything. So like he pushed me in basketball, um, motherfucking rapping exercising, that nigga pushed me in, like everything. So without him, I don't think I really like, I don't even think I'd be like sitting here in front of you today, so.